Hello everyone, it's John and Pippin, who's having a good look at me. What's up, mate? Yes, it's, uh, sorry, I've got my phone on a stick. It's, uh, yes, it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. It's a rather warm afternoon here in Brisbane. It's uh, just gotten over 30 degrees. I think 31 the last time I had a look. Last time I had a look at the... Uh, had a look at the uh, thermometer. So, look, it's Australia. We're used to having warm weather. So, don't pay a lot of uh, attention to uh, all the weather alarmists. It's uh, it's Australia. We get fires. We get bushfires. We get flooding. We get cyclones. We get everything here. Look, it's part of the cycle of life here. Nothing new. Hey, Pip. What are you doing? I try to try to get a bit of culture here and all I get is a dog licking his genitals. Yes, high quality, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. So what am I talking about today? Look, it's it's December waffle. It's early. I might do another one. Who knows? Um, look, December is um, is never a good month for me. Uh, so who knows how it's going to play out uh, but at this stage uh, it's been three weeks since I've had any had any games which is very sad I don't know what's happened there uh, no contact from anybody but who knows it's end of the year time could be Christmas parties could be anything so uh, that's just the way things are going. Will you stop digging? Somebody's trying to dig his way to, well, I won't say China. They're not very popular here in Australia at the moment. But uh, look, will you stop? Oh, dear. He's got chasing rabbits or doing something at the moment. Um, so everything, yes, I know that I'm looking very happy, but look, inwards, I'm not very happy at all. But uh, my role playing has uh, come to a halt and uh, so things are uh, back to where I was probably probably a decade ago so things are not sadly not very good so we just have yeah gone backwards so what have I done I've um, while I'm still collecting I suppose the uh, as well as I can the I guess the D&D &D stuff that's coming out I think Tasha's whatever it is is uh, out came out yesterday I'll have a look at it I know a lot of people are hooping and hiring over it but look to be quite honest more character classes doesn't mean anything to me um, you know that's um, I'm just thinking well where does that really add anything more so uh, you know, yes, more spells, more magic items. Yes, that's always useful, but more character classes. But anyway, that's. Uh, I'll have a look at it. Um, hopefully, there should still be some more copies floating around, so I'll have a look at that. But what I've decided to do at this stage, uh, not that I think anybody will play it, but I've decided that what I'm going to do with the time that I've got left at the moment is that I've gone back to my roots, if we'd like to call it that, and uh, I've gone back to what was my staple in the day, which was Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, I guess you call it first edition, and um, so I'm gone back and I've started to uh, look at it, look at the classics, and uh, which is, uh, yeah, which is good, so I've started to look at that, and of course not too many people probably remember most of these, but you know I've got still got all my still got all those. Uh, you'll find that there's a uh, that there's a uh, another little there's a vlog there that covers my D and D collection. If you go have a look at that, you'll see uh, I pretty much cover most of the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons stuff that I've got there. But what I intend to do, uh, if I can find the enthusiasm, which sadly is lacking. But Salt Marsh, um, I quite like the setting. It's in Greyhawk, which is the. Uh, I quite like the world. I've, I've got a lot of the stuff 
for there. There's a lot of material still floating around on the on the net that's freely available. And uh, I've still got the very large, I've got the World of Greyhawk box set up there that I will uh, that I will use. And uh, so I I'm very surprised that you know that with salt marsh having been released that nobody has actually gone and produced a extensive um, town or city for it now I know that the DMG uh, 2 for Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 did have a township for salt marsh which was quite good there was a lot of stuff in there that I liked I pinched and included in my version of Salt Marsh for five, for fifth edition. Uh, so when I um, do Salt Marsh for um, for first edition AD and D, I will incorporate a lot of those um, things across. So I guess my project for December whether or not I can pull my finger out and feel enthusiastic enough to want to do it will be to draw up the city or township shall we call it for salt marsh and uh, and see what happens see if I survive December so um, that's the big that'll be the big question is whether or not I do or don't it's always a question with me so look anyway look thank you very much for um taking the time of watching this <laughs> watching this uh, as i said i'm off to uh, have a think about my ad and d uh, my little man who's too busy off scratching scratching himself at the moment where are you come here oh, come here come here come here come here come here hello you're gonna say goodbye to everyone hello no this is our dad Yes, he's not. Yes, yes. All right. Anyway, look. Thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for watching <laughs> as my video goes everywhere, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.